One thing I truly find frustrating is the two-party system. Um, George Washington once said that uh, not to let this country ever go to a two-party system, and here we are. I think it's frustrating to see a lot of hyper-partisanship in America. You see elected officials who can't seem to agree on things that might be taken as a given, just like passing the budget, for instance. It's the issue of separation and the fact that everything is way too radically individualized without any sense of community. Party loyalty is the major thing, and if you ever try and break away, it's, you almost become ostracized. It's clearly the disconnect that was between the elected officials in Washington and the rest of the American public. I think some of the comments in the, in the presentation this evening touched on those, that most Americans are moderates. Most of the Americans fall in the middle of the political spectrum, and yet in Washington we're governed by extremists of the left and the right. It truly impedes the political process, and I think we need a strong leader that can bring the two parties together. I think that this is a significant move because it's changing something about the system, about how our electoral process is run. Whatever room there is for for a third approach to politics, I think we'll get a very attractive, a very large audience be willing to be attracted to that particular set of choices. I think that despite the fact that elected officials are sometimes unwilling to work together, they do have the ability to change that if we put the right kind of pressures on them. We can be directly involved in this. Um, we nominate the individual that we want to put on the ballot, and so that's a it's very different. Um, I don't feel that you really have that opportunity being in the Republican and Democratic parties. We as a human community, we as an American people need to grow up and start doing things in a truly democratic way.